communication satellites narrow the gaps between people, man, and the world, and humanity and the unknown. In the 1970s, China made a major breakthrough in artificial satellite development. After the successful launch of the country's first man-made satellite, Dongfang Hong One. The development of the Dongfang Hong Two experimental communication satellite was included in the national plan. The Dongfang Hong One had a perigee altitude of 430 kilometers and an apogee altitude of 2,075 kilometers. While the Dongfang Hong Two, as a geosynchronous communication satellite, operated in an orbit 36,000 kilometers above the equator. That presented unprecedented challenges in developing both the carrier rocket and the satellite. <laughs> On April 8, 1984, a Long March 3 carrier rocket blasted off. Bringing China's first communication satellite Dongfang Hong Two into space. Twenty minutes after it took off, the radio station broadcast the exciting news: the rocket successfully separated from the satellite, and the latter entered geosynchronous orbit. At 10 a.m. on April 18th, with the help of the Dongfang Hong Two experimental communication satellite. China's first satellite phone call between Beijing and Xinjiang was completed. On the same day, the audience in regions like Rumiki and Lhasa accessed the synchronous TV broadcasts for the first time. On May 14, 1984, the Dongfang Hong Two was officially brought into service, putting an end to China's history of reliance on rented foreign communications satellites. Since the Dongfang Hong Two experimental communication satellite, China has developed 50 plus communication satellites, including the Zhongxin, Shujian, and the Communications Technology Test Satellite series, achieving full coverage of radio, TV, phone, and data transmission. Communication satellites can not only achieve the coverage of ground information transmission. But also send messages for spacecraft. In 2008, China launched its first data relay satellite, Tianlian 101, which became the country's first data relay space station. In 2021, the Tianlian 103 and 104 formed an information network with the Tianlian 201. To provide space-based dual object (TTNC) and data relay support for the complex consisting of Tianhe Core Module, the cargo craft Tianzhou-2, building a magpie bridge between Earth and spacecraft. Thanks to the efforts of generations of space industry workers. China has not only realized self-reliance in the fields of communication satellites, but also carried out space cooperation with various countries around the world. On May 14, 2007, the NICOMSAT-1, designed and built by China, was launched. The project marked the first time China provided comprehensive commercial satellite services. To an international customer involving a rocket, a satellite, and launch service. On December 11, 2017, the Alcomsat-1 communication satellite was brought into space. This is Algeria's first communication satellite. Its image is printed on the country's new edition of the 500 dinar banknote. The project became a milestone in space cooperation between China and Algeria. <laughs>